Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about two sample independent t-test and we're going to see how we can perform such a test using our programming language. So let us start with the assumptions of the two sample independent t-test. The first assumption is the normality assumptions that is in two sample independent t-test we assume that the population from which the samples have been drawn should be normal. Then is the assumptions of the equal variance, that is the standard deviation of the populations should be equal. And finally, the samples have to be drawn randomly and have to be independent of each other. The hypothesis for the two sample independent t-test is that the population mean for the variable x is equal to the population mean for the variable y against the alternative which can be uh, greater than or less than or not equal to each other. If the p-value of the test comes out to be less than the level of significance alpha then we reject the null hypothesis and we say that the data does not have a convincing evidence to support the null hypothesis and say hence we accept the alternate each one and reject the null. Now let's look at an example. This data is about the cost of sub supporting a family of four Americans in two different cities, Toronto and Max Mexico City. And we are going to figure out whether the average cost is same over these two cities or it differs. That is if we have two random variables, x denoting the cost in Toronto and we have y cost in Mexico City. What we want to see is that whether this mu of x is equal to the mu of y or this means population means are different. Now before figuring out what type of test we can use, well, uh, first let us make the assumption this x uh, follows the normal distribution and y follows normal distribution. Now this can be tested, uh, this, this can be checked using histogram or a box plot and in fact there is a test to check that whether these uh, variables are normally distributed or not. We have shapiro wick test, we have Kolmogorov Sminov's test. But for but for simplicity, let us assume that these two variables are, are normally distributed. And also this variable x and variable y, they are independent. You can also test for the variance that the variance of y and x are equal. That is the population standard deviation of x and population standard deviations of y are equal. Now provided all these three assumptions, three conditions are satisfied, we can use the t-test, the two sample independent t-test, to test whether the means are equal or whether the means are not equal. Uh, now let us take this to the R studio. I've already entered the data. See, I've recorded the cost of the Toronto in a vector and named it Toronto and cost of the uh, the families in Mexico and recorded it in a vector and named it Mexico. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the t-test to test the hypothesis H0 says that the mu of x is equal to the mu of y against H1 says that the mu of x is not equal to the mu of y and we're going to take our alpha as 0 0.05 that is at 5% level of significance this can be tested uh, tested using the two sample independent t-test now, now before we call the function t.test. I want you to take a look at this t.test function. So 
let us ask for help and see and see what description we have for this t dot test function see that the t dot test can take two population x and y the alternate can be either two sided or less or greater the mu is equal to zero indicating that the population difference is the mean population difference is zero that is another way of saying this is that the mu of x minus the mu of y is equal to zero against this not equal to zero here we have the paired option which is by default set as false that is uh, independent t-test in case uh, we write it true that will be for the pair t-test which we are going to discuss in the coming video now in case the variance are not equal then there is an option for that in fact it takes by default that the variance are not equal and they make some adjustment on that the confidence level by default is set as 0 0.95 that is it by default it tests at 5% level of significance now let us use this t-test function to test for the above hypothesis let's write t dot test the Toronto will be our X Mexico will be the Y alternative will be equal to two-sided mu is equal to zero paired equals to false and confidence level is equal to 0 0.95 so let's so let's run this test uh, see that R has already performed the two, uh, two sample independent t-test this is a Welch two sample t-test here we have the t-value equals to 0 0.9547 the degrees of freedom and here we have got the p-value which turns out to be extremely small nearly zero we can see that the alternate hypothesis is that the true difference in means that is this true difference is not equal to zero we have also got out got the 95 percent confidence interval which is 20 to 51.25, 58.74. Now the interpretation for this confidence interval is that we are 95 percent confidence that this interval contains the true the true difference in means. We have also called the sample estimates for x and y separately. Now based on this p-value which is uh, far far less than 0 0.05 we can say that the data do not have convincing evidence that this to support the null hypothesis at 5% level of significance hence we will reject the null hypothesis H0 and accept the alternate hypothesis H1 now before I end let me show you another thing that uh, most of the arguments that I have used is by default like this mu equals to 0 is by default the paired equals to false is by default and confidence level equals 0 0.95 is by default so instead of writing all these things if I write that t dot test Toronto and Mexico and run it see the alternate hypothesis it also takes by default that the alternative is true side two sided that the mean difference difference in mean is not equal to zero and so without uh, including all these arguments if I just enter these two uh, vectors the t-test performed exactly the same thing however we can change the confidence interval to 0 0.90 for alpha equals 0 0.01 and 0 0.99 for sorry for alpha equals to 1 and for 0 0.9 and for alpha equals 0 
So this is how we can do a two sample independent t test in our programming language. In the next video, we will be talking about the pair t test, when we can use the pair t test and how it can be done using R. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.